welcome to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome. If you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps the channel. And before we get started, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't make any medical claims. This is all based on my own personal journey. So please do your homework first, and uh, hopefully you'll have a successful journey. And uh, yeah, so welcome to week uh, 190, I believe, weight loss results. And I pretty much stayed the same. I'm 258 pounds this morning, and I feel pretty good, and uh, we did a lot of activity this week. Yeah, of course, we had rain two or three days this week, but I did a lot of walking this week, and so this coming week, coming up in the uh, middle part of April over here, we have a lot of uh, good days ahead of us, a couple of days, maybe they're talking about in the 70s, especially on Tuesday, I want to do a three or four, five, I'm, I'm going to shoot for five miles on Tuesday. So we'll see what happens there. But we did a lot of walking this past week there. We got almost 20 miles in for the month and pretty pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna hit 50 miles for this month, but we're gonna definitely give it a try and continue on with the walking path. Now uh, the bingo front there, Donna didn't win anything Friday night, but she had a pretty good crowd, 180. And uh, yeah, and uh, we came out perfect on the charity tickets and everybody was kosher and happy and I'm happy. I have zero pain in my back, zero pain in my hip areas. I'm definitely pushing to get the weight off. Even though I had like a kind of like a non-scale victory this week, I feel like I had a, a, an accomplishment with the walking and also the fact is my clothes feel like they're fitting a little looser now. So I'm definitely on track for that. And so, we, we, you know, we're putting up some recipes and we're continuing on with the chapel, uh, my new time chapel. Uh, uh, recipes that I've been putting up that seems to be going pretty good Shapos for life and I missed uh, episode number 11 for some reason I thought I had a uh, Shapo there for number 11 <clears throat> for day 11 and I'm looking for it I go wait a minute and then I went to my file folder and there was no video there so sorry about that but you know we got uh, we got to continue doing the new time ones and I might just you know probably just wind up eventually cutting back to you know Monday through Friday or just a few days a week but you know for now as long as I continue to have the shuffle ideas I'm going to continue making it for you guys so you're going to enjoy that part of it and uh, so to give you a job update so the mat offered me a position and I was supposed to go next week for my physical and then I was talking to a number of bus drivers uh, every time Donna had an appointment or I had an appointment I'd see him pulling up through the curb and they would let people off and whatever and so my hours would have been four in the morning, so that would have meant I would have had to get up at three o'clock, take a shower, maybe one time for a half a cup of coffee, and then out the door I'd be going. Come home after about three, maybe four hours of work, and then maybe for two hours, or stay there for a couple hours and do whatever, and then go back and finish up at work for seven, eight, nine o'clock at night time. And, they, and they're just starting a shift now for Sundays, and of course they always had Saturdays. And I would never have a life on those type of hour schedules. Now, if the hours would have been just in the morning, like from 4 o'clock in the morning to like maybe 10 or 11, that I could do, you know, Monday through Friday, because then I could have scheduled my rides for my wife and myself for my own appointments. But, you know, and then I asked the girl there, I said, well, what about my wife there? I got to have uh, one day a week where I go, every other week where I go bring it, you know, to have her appointment. And... Uh, she said, well, you wouldn't be able to, you know, you know, and I said, well, why not? Because you, you're going to be driving and even though you might schedule with the mod, it'd be somebody else picking her up. And I, nobody knows my wife's schedule better than me and Donna. So I said, well, that's not going to work. So I, I, I declined the job offer. But, you know, it was much appreciated that they did offer it to me, you know, and they passed the quarry check and everything. And I, all I had to do was pass a clear physical, which was basically a drug test. And I, you know, I could have done that flying colors. But, um, you know, definitely not giving up. The other thing about all that is um, my neighbor, uh, one of my neighbors that live across the hall from me, he works for a, a similar uh, outfit there and it's kind of like a, being a bus driver for the kids. And he, what he does is he goes in for a couple hours in the morning and then a couple hours in the afternoon and he's all done. He works pretty much four, maybe five hours a day. And uh, it's like next week it's a school vacation for the kids and you, you know he's off the whole next week. And, so that's, and, and of course, when they have a snow day, you're off, and you get holidays, you're off. And so I, I got the application all filled out. I go in the, on the 24th to meet them over there, and then uh, what they're going to do is they're going to test me in the parking lot for driving the van, 
and then they're going to make an appointment for me for the registry of motor vehicles for me to get a permit and then I should be good to go if I pass the permit and then we'll just take one day at a time and uh, you know they of course in the summertime they don't run in the summer which might be okay but she did say that during the summertime they uh, they have special needs kids that have rides all summer long and uh, you know, so I can pretty much work all year long if I want to, and I have the option of taking the van home with me and parking it and, and uh, you know, using it that way or bringing it back and taking my car. So she said, whatever works for me, it's pretty much easy for me. And uh, so we'll see what happens out of that, but just keep me in mind because they're struggling with the bills like everybody else right now, and I can't keep up with the economy and the food pricing right now is terrible and uh, everything. You know, I, I went back to Hannaford's, either one of them are hiring. Went to another place that I know was always hiring, and he told me that they got a hiring freeze right now. And, and a lot of companies are hiring, are hiring, but a lot of companies too are having hiring freezes right now, especially the big name companies. So, so for me, driving a, a little, a small little bus like that, that you know, a, a kind of like a regular size van, like a, that would be perfect for me. I could probably get a job as an Amazon driver, but those guys bust their behind. You know, every two minutes you're unloading reloading a package and you know I I have sometimes I have problems reading them where I had seen numbers backwards and everything and I'd be messing that kind of job up if I mean if all I have to do is go down and pick up the kids in the morning and, and uh, bring them to wherever they need to go and then do the, the, those type of runs I could do that that's pretty much easy it's better to deliver it pizzas or something like that that was my other choice you know and then I would have to use my own car for that you know and, and I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to make a payment right now I'm just thinking about giving up the car and just let them come take it right now that's that's where I'm in but you know I need another car for a replacement if I do that you know and of course if I do that that'll blow out our credit report but you know hopefully it won't come to that I'll do the best I can with everything there uh, so you just got a um, notice from the office over there to fill out some paperwork for the new rent evaluation which means the rent's going to go up here again for a second time which is twice a year it goes up on me it's 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 bs so i uh, went down to another place in uh city they they're currently building a ton of condos in here they got you know, one few ready now but i'm not ready to move now and uh so she said well, what's your time frame to move on so i told her i'm thinking about maybe december or possibly january she says that would be perfect for you guys because I got some brand new ones coming available for that, those and I can get a two bedroom, a three bedroom, or one bedroom. You know, I thought about the one bedroom thing because the price would be cheaper, but I honestly really need two bedrooms, you know, because I have to have my own bed. I can't sleep with my wife because of my back and everything. And I have, and I have to sleep on the adjustable bed. And of course, she would never get no sleep and we can bring our cat. Uh, yeah, both the uh, two bedroom, they all, all, the, all the apartment complexes over there, they all have a washer and dryer within the unit, so you have you own your own washer and dryer, which would be a big plus for us because we got to pay for our own wash. So on our average is about $140 a month for wash. So if you add that to what we're paying now and the new rent increase, that would be the exact same amount we'd be paying over there. So it, it would be a better fit for us. Uh, they have three flights of stairs, but every apartment building has uh, elevators. And then the other thing about that, they have balconies where you can put a little, uh, barbecue and barbecue outside and every uh apartment complex has a nice gazebo where you can sit the gazebo and then they call it bricks pond because that's a nice little pond with a nice waterfall and then they have um sitting all, all around that in the summertime over there they have uh concerts throughout the summer where you, they have they offer the tenants and you can bring guests and, and they have free food for the tenants and everything they got like chinese food the pizza uh italian food uh grinders, uh, lobster rolls, uh, shrimp, uh, and then the kids pass out ice creams in the middle part of the concert and all the free soda, free wa uh, water, free beer, uh, actually a beer and wine. They give out, they, give, they, they, they do something for the tenants. I mean, they, the Benzie's awesome for those people over there being, a, uh, you know, complex uh, owner for that. He's built a number of different properties throughout the city. And of course, in the last, they usually have about five concerts over there. And then at the uh, very last one, they usually shoot off some fireworks at the end, right on the property. So it's it's fun. And then they, she was telling me for where well, I like to do a lot of walking. They got walking trails throughout that whole area. So that would like to me that's a no brainer to go over there. And, and I asked them about everything. She said, "Well, what about the bedrooms? Uh, you, you got two, the, all the bedrooms have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting in, which might be a little issue with Oreo with the cat because they can bring him over." 
But I could get like a scratch post for the rug, you know, so he'd make sure he would use that so he wouldn't scratch up the rugs. And uh, yeah, the other two, the kitchen room, living room, backslash, it's all brand new. It would be a garbage disposal, which we don't have here. And of course, we, have, we always had the dishwasher here. But, you know, again, everything is new. And going out toward the balcony, it's nice sliding glass doors. And so, um, yeah, there's definitely a possibility. And I only needed the first and last month's rent. And, uh, of course, the credit verification, all that, which we have. I have all the paperwork all filled out. I just got to get a bank statement and everything, and I got to have my current uh, property management sign off the paperwork about how long I've been here and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, when I turn in paperwork for the, for the new rent increase, I'm going to leave her a nice note and say, Donna and I are planning on staying here for another year, and I'm thinking about leaving the complex sometime late next year, so I, I need this filled out. And of course, if that don't happen over there, we always got a place here, you know. So, you know, we'll see what happens. So keep us in our prayers, and uh, you know, I find a good fit, matching fit for me for my uh, for a job that I need. So we're going to be continuing doing recipes and stuff like that, and I'm going to be doing a lot of walking this week again. I sent out for a pair of uh, I went down to Coles, and yeah, I ended up buying a couple of shirts for that new job. There, I'm going to be returning the shirts. And, uh, and, oh yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to know about wearing a tie. She said, well, right now, ties don't need to wear a tie, but where I knew I might need to wear a tie, and I'm not wearing a tie for a job. And it's pretty much plain and simple. So I just, you know, you know, and then uh, you know, I'm just keeping everything all in stride and just hope for the best and see what expect the worst and hope for the best. But uh, yeah, so I hope you really enjoy uh, those videos I've been putting up. I've been trying to get at least one or two videos up every day. I'm c continuing to film out the uh, Chapel series. I just posted a uh, pot roast one that I did. Now it was potatoes with carrots. My wife had the potato, I had the carrot, and I had the pork roast. It was a huge pork roast, so what I did was I cut it in half and I put the, froze the other half. And, and what I did was with the other half, I cut the pork roast up into pork chops. And uh, so we're gonna have that for an extra meal for later on down the road because I've been buying everything in bigger size packages and I break them up and you know, you try to save money that way and pop them in the freezer bags. I got to get a food saver too. And uh, so that, and I, I need some different things. Of course, need always need money to, in order to be able to buy unless I make a bill for one. So I sent out, I went looking for another pair of walking shoes and I found a really nice pair of walking shoes. I got them coming in this week. I hope they fit and I hope I'm happy with them. But they call um, Nike Max Airs, I guess, something like that. But they're really good sneakers, you know, and they're perfectly for walking, and, and, and it costs a hundred bucks. But that I saw a nice pair of blue ones in the store. I really wanted really bad, but they didn't have my size. They only had one size left in that particular blue. So I ended up sending out for a pair of green sneakers. They had like a green outline lay on, on the on the sides, and those are running shoes. And expensive, a hundred dollars. If you if you're gonna do a lot of walking, you need a really good pair of shoes or like hiking boots or like uh, sneakers. I tried on a pair of shoes that I would have really had liked to have gotten. They were like a higher boot, but the back end of the heel was a higher heel than the other, than the normal sneaker, and I, and I couldn't get them over my heel, so I said, oh, I can't wear those. It was too bad, because I really like those, too. But it's okay. But any, anyways, I don't know if I have anything else to add, but, you know, again, I'm continuing to put out these videos for you guys to help inspire you guys. I'm, I, I'm still looking for a partner where we can talk and feed off of each other for our weekly talk and how we did for that week and continue to inspire other people. So if that's what you're in, you know, if you'd like to do that with me, let me know. And we can designate a specific day to film. And I can set the whole thing up. All you need to do is just jump on your camera and they'll do it through street, uh, StreamYard and I can edit, pre-edit the video. You, know, you don't have to do anything but just talk to me and talk to the audience and say, you know, how are we, we doing? What do we make for meals to motivate everybody? And so I'm, I'm considering doing another egg fast uh, for one or two days at a time. But I'm going to do like, if I do another egg fast, it's going to be like one day at a time. And uh, that sort of thing. Because I don't want to commit myself to doing like three or four days of eggs and then I can't hack them anymore after about a day. But I've been going on to the... Uh, an eater from the ketogenic woman's website and I, I got a link in the show more and uh, she had a number of egg fast res videos in there and I really enjoyed some of the ones that she did that was really awesome she made some pizza ones and stuff like that and I noticed like you met my friend Steffi and a lot of them they, they put that sriracha sauce on them I can't I tried that uh, I accidentally bought one of those uh, 
it was by keto and, and we looked at the back of the ingredients it must have had about 50 ingredients on there and so and I looked at it well, there was nothing keto about it really other than just the name because they might have swapped out one name so you got to be really careful when you're doing uh, low carb weight loss and make sure you read your labels but um, you know so I used that because they didn't want to throw out the food but one had like a sriracha taste to it and I couldn't I ate one and I had to throw it out that's why you don't see me put too many spicy foods on the channel because I can't eat spicy foods you know which is too bad because a lot of people look for like buffalo wings and all that stuff there and and I, I can't do buffalo wings and, and that stuff and but uh, you know I got, I got a ton of recipes I got uh, posting new videos daily and to, as I get time to film them out and uh, I'm going to continue to get walking and do walking and do some uh, job searching in the meantime and just keep the faith up and uh, don't give up. And I would encourage you to do the same. So be that as said, I'm going to leave you guys. Remember, you guys are amazing. I hope you have a great week. I'm, I may or may not set this up as a premiere. If I set it up as a premiere, uh, I'll be answering any questions that you might have to answer in the show or just ask me something and uh, I'll talk to you later on it. But you guys have an amazing week. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.